we now know working of full wave rectifiers and it is time to obtain average load voltage and average load current average load voltage is also called as dc load voltage and i will use the output waveform to obtain the average load voltage this is the output waveform which we have obtained in the last two presentations in case of full wave bridge rectifier and in case of full wave center tapped rectifier we have the same waveform for the output voltage so average load voltage and average load current for bridge rectifier and for center tap rectifier are same because we have the same output waveform in order to obtain the average load voltage i will integrate the waveform from 0 to pi vo is equal to vm sin omega t sin omega t when omega t is from 0 to pi i will integrate it so v average or v dc v dc is equal to 1 by pi integration from 0 to pi vm sin omega t d omega t we are integrating it with respect to omega t and when you integrate it you will have vm divided by pi inside the bracket minus cos omega t because integration of sin omega t is equal to minus cos omega t lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi now I will put the lower and upper limits Vm divided by pi minus cos pi minus minus cos 0 this is what we have cos pi is equal to minus 1 so we have 1 we have 1 here minus of minus 1 is 1 cos 0 is 1 so we have plus 1 here so finally we are getting twice of Vm twice of Vm divided by pi as the value of average load voltage this is very important because i will use it to obtain different parameters in the coming presentations the average load voltage is equal to twice of vm divided by pi i will use this i will use this to obtain the average load current we already know average load current is equal to average load voltage divided by R where R is the load resistance V average is equal to twice of Vm divided by pi we already have R here Vm divided by R is nothing but I am the peak value of load current so I average is equal to twice of I am divided by pi this is what we have as the value of average load current very simple you can also integrate the current through the load resistance and you will have the same result when you integrate the current through the load resistance you will have I average 1 by pi integration from 0 to pi I m I m is the peak current sin omega t d omega t and you will have this result and by using this result you can obtain average or DC load voltage you can do this in either ways both the ways are correct in case of half wave rectifier in case of half wave rectifier average voltage was equal to Vm divided by pi and average current was equal to I m divided by pi but in this case average current is equal to twice of I m divided by pi so in case of full wave rectifiers the average current is twice the value of average current in case of half wave rectifier and this is also true for the average voltage it is twice of vm by pi and in half wave rectifier we have vm by pi so average voltage in case of full wave rectifiers is equal to twice of average voltage in case of half wave rectifier and this is because we have identical waveform in negative half cycle also in case of half wave rectifiers we had zero as the value of output voltage for the negative half cycle but here we have the identical waveform as the positive half cycle so the average is doubled in case of full wave rectifiers and this is definitely one of the main advantages of using full wave rectifiers i hope this point is clear to you and in the next presentation we will discuss rms load voltage and rms load current I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.